Hi again, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Uh, today we're going to talk about interference that gets into your CCTV system and more importantly, how to get rid of it. What we want to use is one of these. This is a ground loop isolator. Not a standard one, it's specifically for CCTV. But before we go into too much detail on that item, uh, how to use it and where to use it, let's talk about the two main reasons for interference on CCTV systems. So what I've got to do now is introduce a bit of cable. I'll come nice and close so you can see them. And here we have three types of cable. These two on the right are a coax type of cable. And of course, this one on the left is a Cat5. So, the differences. This is a standard RG59, and this is a full copper RG59. So, the, these two both have a copper core. But as you can see on this one, the outer shielding, I've pulled the braid down so you can see, the outer shielding is aluminium. It's a silvery colour. This, of course, is bronze. It's full copper. So, coincidentally, this is called copper copper cable because it's full copper and that's a standard one both are excellent obviously the full copper is better but they very rarely suffer from power problems on uh, cctv systems this of course is a piece of cat5 it's got your usual four cores in there so in total there's eight two 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 and two and what's really significant is there's no shielding on this as you can see nothing at all and that's significant or it will become significant later on in the video so let's show you another piece of cable that you should all be familiar with which is this that is a piece of twin and earth you've all seen them on plugs before power runs down it brown being the positive blue being the negative and the green and yellow stripe, of course, being your earth for safety reasons. And this is one of the big problems with interference on CCTV systems. So, let's go back to the Cat5. So you've got both of these cables. Now imagine the power cable, which carries 230 volts, being on your building... It could be used for uh, security lights. It could be used to power a socket in your garage so you can use power tools. Um, it could be used for an electric shutter door. Or, oh, God forbid, the worst offender of them all is patio heaters because of the draw on the power. It's uh, very significant. So imagine that in your building for any of those uses. And then you've got a piece of Cat5 that you're using for your CCTV. Now, if these two cables are in close proximity, you're going to get a problem. And the reason for that is there's no shielding on here. So as the 230 volts races up and down this power cable, the magnetic field that it creates gets into your Cat5 cable. It contaminates it. And that is the word that we need to use. Contaminates the cable. It then rises up through the cable up to where your CCTV camera is. It picks up the video picture, brings it back down, the video picture and the interference from this cable, and that is when you get interference on your screen. You'll see lines that can be going vertically, upwards or downwards, across the screen, diagonally, or um, what we call a, a rainbow colour scheme, where you get reds and yellows that sort of feed across the screen. All of those are power problems because of this cable. Now, if they're in close proximity, it's bad. If they're close together to make them neat, that is even worse because there's absolutely no gap there at all. Some people will do this and sellotape these together, uh, use some tie wraps or maybe bang some 10 millimeter clips on there on the wall to make them look neat. And that is one of your problems. On top of that, because Cat5 is one of the main offenders, the second reason why you get such interference on your systems is this. Here's four pieces of Cat5 here. So just one of them has been next to a power cable. But these are at the back of your DVR. Okay. So 
There's also power cables back there as well because you'll have a plug for your monitor. You'll have a plug for your CCTV DVR anyway. You could have a router back there. There could be a couple of uh, junction blocks on there because you've got not got enough power points. All those things, of course, are the cable that we mentioned earlier. And then you get people who do this and have all these cables again tied together with some tie wraps or sellotape like you can see here and because there's power in these anyway never mind the power cable they're all tied together like that to make them nice and neat at the back of the dvr that is a no-no it's a total no-no if you see anything like that whether it's sellotape if we snip these off whether it be sellotape or whether it be clips undo them and separate them get these cables away from each other that's the second reason why you get interference. So, how do we get rid of it with a ground loop isolator? So let's go back to one of the RG59 cables, which is this one. Now, these are very, very rarely affected. Only if you put them next to, you know, um, some really, really big stuff will you get a problem. But because we've got a made-up piece of that cable anyway with the connections on, We'll use that as an example instead of the Cat5. So, this cable's got a power cable next to it. It goes up to where your camera is and plugs in. Then it comes down to where your DVR is, your actual machine. So where do we put this ground loop isolator? Well, we put it down there. So, out of your DVR where you've got your bad camera, push an anti-clockwise and out comes your cable that feeds all the way up to your camera. The ground loop isolator is easily recognisable because of this block that's on it. Sometimes they're bigger or smaller than this. This is quite a small one. And they'll have BNC connectors, male and female. So the male goes directly, push and clockwise, into the cable that's got the interference on it. And then the female back into the DVR where the cable originally was so there's your input there through the ground loop isolator and into your DVR now you have to put this behind the DVR and there's a couple of really good reasons for that and that's because if you decide to put this up in the box that's behind your camera or at the side of it remember this this is in place, there is still going to be interference on its way down. So that's been put in beforehand, and then you're going to get interference after the fact. So don't do that. And just because it's got a bit of extra length on it, you know, this is about 14 inches across, don't cut into your cable halfway down either, because clearly these aren't powered, they don't require power. Don't put a box up and do the same halfway down, because again, this is after the fact, so wherever you put this in, it can still pick up voltage. So this always goes on the DVR end. So with that in there, you can then get rid of a lot of the interference. Now this particular model is quite small. It's made by Technomate and they are that good. Um, I was called out to a system last week down in Sheffield in South Yorkshire and there was a three-phase uh, power system in the uh, industrial unit because, of course, they were manufacturers. And one of the pictures was absolutely shocking. One of the worst I've ever seen on a CCTV system. And I had one of these in the van, plugged it in, and it got rid of over 90% of the interference. It was miraculous. Really are good, these. They are far better than the older versions that are out there. So always keep one of these in stock or keep one in the house. They're very inexpensive. I think the most expensive one of these is £25, which is such a small amount of money to pay to get rid of your interference on your CCTV system. So that is a ground loop isolator. And we've done this video specifically because we've had two emails in the last couple of weeks about interference on HD cameras because of course HD cameras are such good quality they show up the interference very very easily 
and that's the reason why we thought we'd do this video for you so there you go a ground loop isolator you know how to use it and where to use it and more importantly you also know why you have to use it so if you ever come across this problem again you'll be able to identify it straight away so this is paul logging off at cctv systems uk if this doesn't solve your problem please send us another email and we'll try and arrange a service call for you get round and solve your problem for you paul logging off at cctv uk you all have a cracking day i'll see you soon Bye-bye.